Hi, I'm Paris, and I've accumulated a few weeks worth of sleep data now, as gathered by my S Plus sleep analysis device that watches me while I sleep. So I thought I would share with you what trends I'm seeing, one that's kind of worrisome, and the way that I think I might have found to fix that problem. Epic review, guys. I reviewed the S Plus by ResMed a few weeks ago, showed how to set it up and how it was supposed to work. I bought this for around $65 to $70 half price sale over at Bed Bath & Beyond. And it's been an interesting experience to have this observing me while I sleep and really surprising me with the results. I thought I was sleeping much better than apparently I am. If you'd like to find out more about this device, there's a link down below this video. Now briefly, this S Plus device sits on the bed stand, pointed at me, and it mostly watches me breathe all night, but it can sense other kinds of motions and light levels to see if that's interfering with your sleep, different variables, and it gives me a report every day of how well I slept last night. Now I had always assumed that if I slept more, that was better sleep. That's not necessarily true, and here's why. Here is last night's sleep report. I got a score of 70. It doesn't seem that great, but this is actually the best report I've gotten since I started using the device in terms of REM sleep. REM sleep is how your mind refreshes itself. Your memory, your concentration depend on getting enough REM sleep, and I have been getting terrible levels of REM sleep. My deep sleep, which is when your body gets restored, isn't so good in this particular report, but it's been fine lots of other nights. But I'm not a very good sleeper according to this, but I thought I was actually sleeping fairly well and certainly much better than I was a few years ago. I can go through my sleep history for as long as this has been recording me, and the graph you see shows when I'm in, when I'm trying to go to sleep, light sleep, deep sleep, and REM sleep. There are a couple points that I've learned based on what this device is telling me about my sleep that I think is going to make a difference. Now, these are the pieces of advice it gives me each night. This most recent one was about, let's have a couple more nights of increased REM sleep. Almost every night before this, this one I got quite a bit of sleep this night, but still really low on the REM sleep. And it's the same pattern over and over. Here another night with quite a bit of sleep and lots of deep sleep, it's all good, except I didn't dream enough that night. And they're giving me some suggestions including exercising, which could be a good one. Getting more activity during the day may help you to have more REM sleep at night. Now after this night of sleep, the insights I was provided actually were pretty good, especially in the discussion of REM here, telling me that as the night goes on, you have more REM sleep. You'll especially have longer REM periods. That's part of the clue of what my problem was. And see your graphs one right after the other. You can see last night when I did well in RAM, I had short dream period, longer dream period, and then here, fairly long dream period that you'll see is missing in a lot of other nights, that last period of REM. And I did something different last night that I hadn't done any of the other nights. I'll tell you about that in just a second. So here I have them, but even that last one is pretty short. Here, Poor me, I got a little bit of a dream in there and nothing the rest of the night. Now red is um, when you have interrupted sleep and that's important too. Well this is, um, I had trouble going to sleep here. But I had an interruption there, just two REM periods. So this device provided me with some good clues but it didn't quite put the clues together to tell me what was going wrong and why. And um, you can go do a sleep study where you go to a center and they have all the wires hooked up to you and you can see if there's something within you that's causing the problem. But I don't think that's the case and I don't think a sleep study would have found this out. So the clues that the S Plus provided me is that I wasn't getting my last go round of REM, that last session most nights seem to be cut off. Also that from 5, 6 a.m. I seem to be staying in light sleep and not getting more deep sleep or more REM sleep. Now, I get up about 6.30 every morning during the weekdays, but I'm not the first person in the house to get up. So there's an alarm that starts going off at 5 a.m. However, that person, I will not say who, does not get up until about 5.40. But they like to snooze the button and they like to get up slowly. So, what I think has been happening is, even though I fall back asleep afterwards and I think, okay, I've gotten a good total amount of sleep, 
because of that eight minutes, that snoot, the alarm goes off, and then eight minutes later it goes off again, eight minutes later it goes off again for 40, 45 minutes, I think that's when I'm supposed to be getting my last REM cycle of sleep, but instead, because the buzzing keeps bringing my consciousness level up, I'm not able to go down into the deep sleep and get that REM sleep that I need. And even after that, there are sounds of the blow dryer and the electric toothbrush and all the different things. Now, unlike Michael Jackson's man in the mirror, this snoozing person is not willing to change their ways. So I basically feel like I'm being robbed of that last hour and a half of sleep. If you look at me during that time, you will see me sleeping. But what's actually going on further down and what this has revealed to me is I'm not getting the kind of sleep that I need. That last hour and a half is where I should have a big old chunk of 30 minutes of REM sleep. Instead, I end up getting 30 or 40 minutes for the whole night and coming in at 58% of the REM I'm supposed to have. And uh, could you please not snooze your alarm for 45 minutes before getting up? Maybe just 10, 15 minutes? Discussion has been going on for over 15 years. And do I look like I'm winning? I'm not. But fortuitously, last night got awfully humid and a little warm. So for the first time this, well, the, for the first time since October last year, I have a fairly large fan that I've reviewed in another video. I have right by the side of the bed. And I decided, well, I guess I'm gonna have to turn the fan on. It's, it's fan season already here in Central Texas, which helped to cool me down. I was more comfortable. I was able to go back to sleep. But lo and behold, I showed you I had the highest ever for me REM score. So was it just because I was in a cooler environment, more comfortable that I slept better? I don't think that was it because many of the other nights that I have a sleep score for, they were actually even a little chilly. So I don't think it was feeling cooler because of the fan, but it was because of the fan. The sound of the fan. It's a fairly loud fan. It moves a lot of air and so there's a very strong white noise created. And I think that was able to block enough of those other sounds that um, keep distracting me and keep me in light sleep for the last 90 minutes that I was able to dip down and get those dreams that I needed. Anyhow, I have to try it for a while here over the next week, see what this says about my last 90 minutes of sleep. Am I finally consistently picking up that last stage of dreams that I appear to really need? Without the S Plus watching me and analyzing my sleep and giving me these reports, I wouldn't have realized that I was really doing poorly in REM sleep. I'd have days where I know I had slept six, seven hours, but I was just foggy and not sharp, and this would explain why. And even though this couldn't tell me, hey, somebody's snooze alarm is killing your last chunk of sleep, with the clues that it provided, I was able to figure it out and, and by chance may have found the solution I needed. I'll keep you updated and let you know how this all turns out. If I seem sharper and clearer and more mentally with it, you can assume I figured it out and I'm doing better on my REM sleep. You can keep checking back for that video and videos in which I'm completely wide awake and sharp and with it by clicking on that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. Epic review, guys. Wanna watch it all?